How do you establish trust when building relationships? In, in my world, uh, you know, I work for an environmental organization, but I'm, I do outreach to, to, to companies and engagement with companies to try to uh, get companies to either change what they're doing or become allies of ours to help work towards uh, uh, solving an environmental challenge. Uh, there has not always been a great track record between environmental groups and business. Uh, that's getting better. It's been getting better over the last you know, 10, 15 years, um, maybe 20 years. Uh, where uh, the, those two two universes aren't really seen as adversaries all the time. They still can be in some senses, but you can uh, there there is space in the middle where you can work together. So trust is really essential, but you can't expect anyone if you just met them to say, "Hey, trust me." You, you really have to earn that, and you have to show goodwill. Uh, you have to show that you are trustworthy, and it's a it's um it, it can be a challenge, particularly when. Uh, your interests may not totally be aligned all all the time, and but it's it's something you have to work at uh, every day. It's it's uh, um, it's about uh, it's about give and take. It's about um, uh, uh, under it's about truly understanding uh, someone's else's point of view. Uh, and, and and really incorporating that, and uh, you know maybe not giving up on your own beliefs, but but you know really understanding where someone else is coming from is, is essential and with, with trust. But it's a it's a long it's a long process for for anyone. I think it's you know you've got, you've got to prove that you're trustworthy in order to be trusted, and and that just comes with you know small steps every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And have you been in a situation where you've had to recover or salvage trust in a broken or disrupted relationship? Yes, absolutely. Um, and I can't really talk about all the details because uh, some of them are, uh, are 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 not public. But you know, there have been situations with certain companies that I've worked with where we've disagreed on a point, um, and it you know it took it took a while for for trust to recover on both sides, where um, my expectations were one place, and you know, uh, a company that I was working with, their expectations were 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 somewhere else, and it got to a point where it was things were very contentious for a while. But I think as long as you're straightforward about what was the source of the contention in the first place, uh, you really you you know you, you communicate very clearly. You talk about it. You figure out you know how do you move forward from here, uh, and and there is a base of trust. You can recover from it. If you've proven yourself to be not trustworthy along the entire pathway, it'll be impossible. So I mean there are uh, there are ways that you know trust can be broken unintentionally. There are ways that trust can be. Um, uh, 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 re-established so long as you have that foundation. Uh, but getting that foundation in place first is, is essential in being, in being true to it. 